Well, just two House Republicans, Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, joining Democrats today in approving a select committee to investigate the January 6th attack after the Senate GOP blocked a bipartisan commission. Cheney releasing a statement saying, in part, here it is, and I quote, since January 6th, the courage of my party's leaders has faded, but the threat to our republic has not. Our nation and the families of the brave law enforcement officers who were injured defending us or died following the attack deserve answers. I believe the select committee is our only remaining option. She's talking about heroes like DC Metropolitan Police Officer, Officer Michael Fanone, who was brutally attacked, assaulted and tased while protecting our Capitol on January 6th. Officer Fernone suffered a brain injury and a heart attack. He was invited by the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to attend today's vote on Capitol Hill, and he joins me now. Mike, thank you, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Thanks yeah. for having me on. Only two Republicans, just two. Some of your colleagues who also defended the Capitol on the 6th joined you back at the scene of the crime, and that's what it is, a scene of the crime, uh, to witness the vote today. The GOP sources tell our uh, Jamie Gangel, our correspondent here, that they were embarrassed to see officers like you today. What were you thinking watching all of this unfold? Um, I mean, I was, uh, I was shocked, but not surprised. That simple? That simple. Um, I mean, I'm done. Like, I, I don't know what other excuses can be made for, uh, for the Republican Party at this point. Um, they've been gave, given a, ample opportunities to, uh, you know, to have an exit ramp from the previous administration, and they've chose to uh, embrace that administration, uh, and doing so on the backs of hundreds of police officers that responded to the insurrection, uh, which was incited by that president and his supporters on January 6th. This is a party of supporting law enforcement, supposedly. Did it feel that way today? Has it felt that way over the last weeks or months? Yeah, no, I mean, it's been an eye-opening experience for me. Uh, we've come a long way from the, you know, political rhetoric of the previous administration saying that the Republican Party is the uh, party of law and order uh, and of supporting law enforcement. Um, not to say that, you know, any particular political party embraces law enforcement or is supportive of law and order unequivocally. Uh, but it's clear to me now that, um, you know, the Republican Party as a whole is not that. Uh, I've got to look to individual members to earn that, um, the right to say that they're supportive of law enforcement. And right now, 190 Republicans uh, did not earn that right. 